Zup. OBS. This is a little bit weird. Hi everybody on YouTube. Super Slider here. And zooming the camera in this far makes the quality a little bit poor actually. But I've got something interesting for you guys. I mean, for the people that are having one of the newest uh, AMD graphics cards and like to record or stream on Twitch and do stuff like that. And uh, normally you would use your CPU to create the image you're seeing right now, for instance. Um, but I got something interesting. I found a different version of Zup OBS. This is a little bit weird. I gotta admit that. But I found a different version of OBS and this uh, version actually uses the GPU to render out this image instead of the CPU. Um, and there is a forum post over on the um, OBS forums for the guy. And uh, this guy actually made a different version uh, of OBS and here he says I've implemented some support for AMD VCE that is the encoder for AMD and I know that NVIDIA's also got one um, but uh, OBS like natively supports the one from NVIDIA but not the one from AMD. So that is why we need like a different version of OBS to make support for this possible. But uh, the downside is that because there's no, not uh, any official support from OBS itself, there's probably all kinds of uh, memory leaks and broken stuff, but it works. Like I am filming this video with VCE as we speak, so it does work. Um, and he goes further on um, explaining some other things and you know uh, possible problems that you might encounter, and these are also some solutions to them. Um, he also tells you you can, uh, you might also need to install some 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 runtimes and stuff like that. Um, you, you might need to change the little things, but I will go into my settings, uh, the settings that work for me. Uh, I will go over them in a little bit. The thing that you uh, need to do is look at the binaries and then look at the date and download the newest one. I believe this is the newest one, 11 for November and 23 for the date. You can also download uh, an older version if the if the newest version does not work for you, then you can also download uh, an older version as well. But anyway, this is the website that you need to go to to be able to download this uh, special version of OBS. When you've downloaded this OBS, it's in a zip file or in a RAR file, either one of those. Uh, you can just completely uh, unzip that into a special folder or a special map, whatever you want to call it. And at that will be your OBS map then. Um, if you do have any uh, plugins that you use on OBS normally, then I would highly suggest you put them into in the plugins folder of uh, the zip file you downloaded here to make that work again. Because you do have to uh, manually uh, install the plugins. That's that. Let's pull this down again. This looks so nice, doesn't it? Oh my god, this is so good. I love this. I don't know why, but <laughs> it just it just it's it's good, right? So, um everything in this version is still the same. You can just add your scenes, you can add uh different sources to it. it well, all this will all stay the same. The thing that does change is when you go into the settings. Whoop, here. 
you will see that when you go to encoding, there's actually a different checkbox here called AMD VCE. And I will I do not have an NVIDIA card right now. So I, I cannot do any comparisons between uh, NV ENC and VCE, unfortunately. Otherwise, I oh, would have done that and I would have made it you no know, separate video of that. But that might be something for the future. Um, I'm recording at 15,000 bitrate. Of course, this is not a bitrate you would use if you want to stream to Twitch. If you stream to Twitch, I would not recommend go over like 3,500. That's pretty much the max that Twitch accepts anyway, so you don't want to go over that. But if you're making a video like this for YouTube, you can uh, easily put it at 15,000. That's, that's fine. Uh, next to that, you got also some uh, optional settings. And I've checked this one, use AMD AMF instead of OVE. Um, I think this has to do with the color correction. And I like uh, AMD AMF a little bit better than this one so that's why i checked it you can check either of these uh it doesn't really uh have an impact on performance in any way but it does something with the color correction and you know i like it so that's good uh, moving on to uh, the video tab i have a full hd screen but to be able to to make this video possible i had to scale down the resolution to 720p what I did then is I also uh, used the best detail, th uh, 36 samples, and also put it at 60 FPS because uh, uh, Twitch supports 60 FPS, and now YouTube also started to support 60 FPS. So we will, we will in the future move away from uh, the 30 FPS towards the 60 FPS. So um, that's why I'm recording all my videos at 60 FPS right now. Um, another thing that you might want to check. Uh, is use CFR in uh, this tab, the events tab. Um, although he will ignore all these things because you're not actually using your CPU to render this image, but you're using your GPU to make this image. But you have to use CFR to make sure that the bitrate will stay constant around what you've chosen it to be. So keep that in mind. Um, and then we get to the the diff most difficult part <laughs> of this whole like uh, uh, video and that is seeing all these settings um, I cannot explain what all these settings are uh, I did look at the website and the website uh, or like the forum post uh, did explain a few of these settings and if you scroll down the comments you will um, and if you know English you will definitely be able to find out what all these settings mean and what you could change but uh, the settings that i have here right now uh, do work for me um, they may not work for you though it uh, depends on what graphics card you have depends on how fast your computer is of course but the settings that i have now right here um, uh, with the 720p uh, do seem to work pretty fine so um, i mean i can like uh, tell you to, 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 to use this and you can also look at the quality of the video right now what you what you feel and what you like about it if you like it you can use it and if you don't like it you, you you can maybe you know try and uh, change a little bit you can also um, check this box off uh, when you've done this uh, you will use uh, you know his own parameters uh, the parameters that the developer of this whole build uh, made for this uh, VC encoder um, but you can also you know, use your own and I would suggest if you want to use your own uh, that I suggest you use these ones and um, yeah that's it that's basically what what enables you to use your GPU instead of your CPU to render the image you're seeing right now um, will it ch will this change anything for the way you um, like capture your your uh, video games or whatever you want to capture? No, no, it does not change anything. It's just uh, the way it is. It will always be that way. Um, I can show you that right now. We go back to this horrible screen. 
Um, but as you can see here, I've got a, a, diff uh, a few different games, like Far Cry, Advanced Warfare, I've got Battlefield 4 in here, um, Borderlands. So that will always stay the same. It is just the settings that are a little bit different. Um, and I... Um, a thing that really helps out is the fact that whenever you are doing this, maybe I can actually show you guys. I'll just put this up in the screen real quick. You can see the amount of CPU usage that I'm having right now. Um, it will, like on my CPU that is, I'm using a, a fairly fast CPU, I, I, I might add, but my CPU stays around, no, well, uh, eight, nine percent cpu usage and the memory is also not that high so i mean that is where you are seeing a, a benefit especially if you don't have a cpu that is like extremely quick and uh needs a lot of cpu power to be able to make this uh this you know this this image if you're using the cpu to, to to you know to render out the the screen um, then this is absolutely beneficial to your cause, you know, uh, because this this actually will uh, de decrease your CPU usage to well about ten percent. Um, if you're having a slower CPU than mine, then it might go up to like fifteen, but that's about it. The most CPU usage that I've had came around twenty percent. So, but then is that is when I uh, actually use the CPU instead of the GPU. Um, so for me, it has a pos positive inf uh, effect that my CPU usage went down from like 20 to 25 to about, you know, 10. Um, but this will allow you to, to play games with, I mean, less lag uh, because your GPU is taking care of uh, making this available to you. So, um, I will show you the settings once more, and I hope you guys had anything about this video. Um, if you are using it and you found better ways to, to record this in higher quality, then please let me know in the comment down below. Also let me know what you think about this video. Um, uh, did it help you out? Did it not help you out? Um, I want to know your your uh, guys' uh, guys' experiences uh, using OBS with the VC encoder instead of the CPU. If you are going to use it, of course. Like I said, I don't have an NVIDIA card, so I cannot use that and, and show you guys the comparison between that. Um, maybe I'll do that in the future if uh, if people are really interested about that, then I uh, can surely think about it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then. Please leave a like down below. I will highly appreciate that. And also subscribe for more awesome videos. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.